I guess it's the hardest bait on the market right now. Originated from Japan, Gill Flat, Jabba Gill, and now Berkeley Gilly. This bluegill based soft bait has great lifelike actions. The problem is, I cannot find it anywhere in the local stores. The only way to get it is to make it myself. So, what are we waiting for? Let's do it. Let's first insert a bluegill picture and move it to the appropriate location. We'll calibrate it to 90 millimeters. Next, let's draw a line and then use that line to create a pipe form. We will use that pipe form to sculpt the bluegill body. In this video, I speed up a lot uh, because it's a long design process. Uh, if you want to see more details, I will prepare another detailed uh, video that will show you all the steps. Now creating the pectoral fin and also the gill plate. The idea here is to make the fin and the gill plate using extrude and intersect. We then move and rotate these pieces to position to create the depth from the main body. And for the design process, I would design just the right side of the fish. I will create the other side in the end because they are symmetrical. Next, create the eye, scale it, and move it to the appropriate location. For the dorsal fin, first I create the spikes and then the fin between the spikes. As you can see, we don't have to follow the exact shape in the picture. Picture is just a reference. Here I use pipe form to create the spikes. Form or T-spline is a very powerful solid type in Fusion 360 in terms of sculpting the organic objects. There are many features or options that you can use to achieve your desired result. I will explain more in a follow-up detail video. For the fin between the spikes, I simply create the outline and then use the extrude feature. I also added a chamfer along the edge. Now repeat the same process for the other fins. We also need some details on the pectoral fin. Pelvic fin, same deal, except for in the end we need to rotate it to an angle.
I kind of move the pelvic fin into the body a little bit, so it will be easier to demold. For mouth, I need to cut a slit in front of the head. So what I did here was I created a tool to split the jaw from the head and then did the chamfer along the edge on the mouth. In the end, I combine the jaw back to the head. Now I feel the head needs a little bit more detail. So here we go. Use the same process as creating the gill plate. Here I'm splitting the head out from the body because I want to apply scales on the body but I don't want those on the head. Now combine pieces into one head body. When we combine the gill plate and the head, there is a joint line and I use fillet to smooth that joint line. Do the same for the detail plate. At this point, the bluegill model is taking shape. I can use this as a blank and apply different scale or body designs. I will demonstrate one here. Let's take a closer look at the detail. Next phase is the body design. Here is a cross section from the top view. Here's the head. eyes. I want this lure to have the 3D scale pattern throughout the body, so let me draw an offset from the outside profile. So the scales will be in this shell section. Basically, the scales are extruding from the core surface. And we call this center portion core. Next, I want to shrink the waistline so the tail can flap easily. So here's the reduced core profile. The scales still have to be extruding from the core surface. So let me draw that. So in practice, I just need to create the core and also the scales which are extruding from the center line and in the end I'll combine both. Yep, that's the basic concept. Let's get to it.
Here I try to align the lines with the scales in the picture. Now use pattern to create lattice. To avoid cutting a body into many small pieces using extrude, you can try to set the start to be offset. So those small pieces will be all connected to a base. In the end, it will still be a single body. Here I'm rounding one side of the diamond so it looks more like a scale. Turn on the core. Now we have uniformly offset scales. Next is to reduce the waistline in the core. I try to cut the core by extruding the profile along the Z axis, but the result looks a little bit stiff. So I switch to cut the profile using Revolve. Okay, here's the core. Now add the scales back in. And the rest of the fish. Yay, we have the whole, I mean half of the bluegill finished. Now let's look at the cross-section analysis. Yep, looks like we achieve what we want here. If you have been watching until this point, congratulations. Please leave your comments down below. I want to know how many hardcore 
paint maker designers are out there. Here's the finished product. I use 0.15 millimeters layer height, so there's some contours, but it's okay. It's it's fine enough. Uh, the surface looks okay. It has all the details. All right, let's go make some baits. I put a lot of oil on this one, so demo should be easy. See, oh, this one is not enough, but looks okay. This one is not enough, so I should have uh, pushed more. The gill. Friends, this one is not all the way. This one's okay. Looks okay. Look at the scale. There's no dent on the head, so this helps a lot. And um, I think the rest is okay. So I'm using this swing bait hook, which has this uh, bait keeper on top. We'll keep the bait on the hook longer. Okay, let's go. Originally, I didn't add any weight, so it doesn't want to sink or it sinks too slow. So I, after I added the weight, uh, it started to sink faster. And uh, also, when I twitch, it knows which way is up and it will turn to the right side up by itself. So I think the action is good. Uh, the tail seems to be flapping when you twitch. This one mimics the boogie eating the surface bugs. And this one mimics the boogie eating the eggs off the bed. So I'm pretty happy with the first round result. Uh, if I want to make any improvements, I will be adding more mass to the tail or some side fin to make it uh, kick when it's swimming. But this is good. I'm happy. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. If you have not subscribed, please do so. We will see you next time. Peace out.